Good day everyone! I hope you're all safe and doing fine in the comforts of your homes. I'm Sir Rafael Berina, a teacher 3 at E.B. Magalona National High School. And today, I'm going to share how I transitioned from the old to the new normal. This is my crossover story. Teachers, we've been used to waking up every morning, go to school, perform the tasks required, go home exhausted but fulfilled, knowing that in one way or another, we were able to touch the lives of our students and prepare for the next day. It was just like a merry-go-round. When the pandemic happened, many of us spent more time relaxing, rethinking life choices, and spending time with our loved ones. The now is different from the way we lived our lives then. We became more vulnerable, and we sometimes worry about petty things, and we tend to overthink. It is important that in this time of uncertainty, we assess ourselves. For the longest time, we've been very busy enduring the challenges that this calling made us do. We've been very busy making sure that every learner in the classroom gets the chance to be heard and seen. We've been very busy making sure that their well-being is taken care of. We've been very busy making them realize to work hard for their goals. We were busy helping them to reach their dream stars. We were busy worrying about other people. And that's good. That's what we are made for. But let us not forget to love ourselves to take care of ourselves, to be ourselves. For those who know me, I'm really an outgoing person. I love to socialize, to reach out to people, to perform, to share my craft, and my love for theater and the arts, and for telling stories. And when all these things happened, I felt like I was boxed. I felt like I was limited, and as if my voice seems unheard. And I asked myself, what can I do? What can I do to keep my sanity in the right pace? And I heard the voice in my head telling me to explore my potentials, to keep doing my craft. And as I started letting that brush dance and colors, I became more relaxed, more patient, more imaginative. I also ventured into vlogging. This platform made me feel like I can still connect to people. I feel like I can still share my story my love for learning and the arts. boxed now but we can still be creative inside that box turn its walls into a stage a studio or a canvas and one day when we are allowed to go out of that box and share what's inside I am sure it's going to be one great explosion box you don't need to be artists to cope with the challenges in these trying times you just need to be you you just need to know what you want Try doing your once forgotten passion again or try something new. By doing these, you can make yourselves busy as we wait for the dawn. I am Rafael Berina, artist, teacher, turned vlogger, and this is my crossover story.